Hey everybody, we got the femur today. So, no, 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 stay like that, stay like that, because this is perfect. I, I cannot tell you the amount of patients that you will have that will lie down and immediately cross their legs. Immediately. Especially when you're doing something lower extremities. You're like, I thought your leg was all hurting. Apparently not now. So, yeah, we want to uncross their legs. Um, get them straight on the table. If your patient's really small, you can just literally move them all around however you want. All right, so, first thing, like I said, let's be sure that our CR and our IR are lined up. They are. We're going to be doing her right leg, her right femur. The 72 markers down there. All right, so, we're going to start with the proximal. <clears throat> so, we want our... 40 inch collimation open at 17. Okay, no more than 17. And where do we want the top of our image receptor? The ACES. I think ACES. So I'm going to find the ACES real quick. So, those of you that are new, you don't know what the ACES is yet, do you? Well, you probably do. Do you know what the ACES is? Okay. So, if you palpate the top of your hip bone, let's no, do it. No, I'm not just, I'm not just talking here. Yeah, y'all haven't done this yet. Come anterior, and you feel this little bump that sticks anteriorly. That is your aces. So if you find the top of the pelvis, which is called the iliac crest, follow it anterior. There's going to be another bumpy bit, in my very scientific terms, a bumpy bit. Um, that is your aces. So that is this part right here. Of the, of the pelvis, this anterior portion, the ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine. So that's y'all what it was called. So ACES is right here. I have the top of my IR at the ACES, if not a little above it. And let's make sure I'm lined up because I moved one instead of the other. Messed up. Probably catch me. Now I can move this wherever I need to. So Aces is right here. We are going to separate the legs a little bit just so we don't get too much of the other one. And we're going to rotate how much in for the proximal? 15. 15 degrees. So we're going to abduct this a little bit and rotate it in. So right here, I can feel the greater trochanter. Here, I don't feel it as I rotate the leg inward. Now it's popping out and saying hello. It's like, hey, what's up, bro? So even though her foot's more than 15 degrees rotated, I can tell that her leg isn't. So don't worry about how the foot looks. I know every quiz we've had is what direction are the toes pointing? Oh, they're pointing that way a little bit. Um, the marker out here. And that pretty much is your AP proximal femur, okay? So. All I have left is from here to here. That's all I have left. So, we could put the bottom of it here. Several different ways we could do this. What I do is I put three fingers right here in the light. Y'all see? And then when I move it, as long as my fingers don't go out of the light, if I did this, then I would miss some anatomy. But we're also doing a full tip at that point. So we don't need that. So as long as my light overlaps where my fingers were, we're okay. Do I need that much? So I can even collimate a little bit from that 17 inches because we don't need that much. Do I still leave it rotated 15 degrees? Five. Five degrees now. So now all we're looking for are the epicondyles parallel. So very little rotation. Move. Don't forget to move your marker. <coughs> Get it down here, and that is your AP distal femur. Pretty simple, right? Nothing too crazy. No specific central ray location to remember. The rotation and ensuring that we get the entire femur is the biggest thing. Okay? So, let's go ahead and go back to proximal, and we'll try it the way they did on the 
the video, have it try it that way. So first off, let me have you scoot to your left a little bit, to the edge of the table, kind of. So go ahead and bend both your knees. Drop this one down. Okay, so she's pretty good right there. I could bring this other hip over a little bit more, but I don't like where her leg is, right? So we're gonna scoot your hips this way. Keep coming, a little bit more, a little bit more. All right, now we're gonna move this. Scoot your hips more and then rotate and then roll towards me a little bit. There we go. Now see how this leg is straight? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna rotate your hips a little bit more. I'll push that one under. And go ahead and keep that leg back. There we go. Now, is this super comfortable? Not really. She's young, she's healthy, she's all that. So just imagine if you had me up there, 70 year old. This is going to be a little bit more difficult. So you're going to have to, to play around to see what works, patient by patient. Again, we're going to palpate the aces. We're going to have this about at the level of the aces. And I'm going to make sure that my light ends right at about the aces as well. Back in about 17. So a little bit more in. Get your right marker here. Take your hips just a tiny bit. There we go. So you can imagine if we rotated her too much, this other hip and this leg is going to get in the way. And if they can't get their legs separated like this, you're going to have issues as well. So some of it you kind of have to play around with how much you rotate the patient, depending on the patient you have. That's why I'm with the easiest patient in the room. Work smarter, not harder. So, that's your lateral proximal femur, or proximal lateral femur. Is that a medial lateral or lateral medial? Medial lateral. Medial lateral, yes. And all we're left with now is the distal. So we're gonna go ahead and turn your hips all the way. Bring this leg over the top, if you would. There we go, up here. Keep that leg straight along that line. Your marker in there and there's really nothing else I need to do. I could, I could column me down a little bit because I know we don't need quite all that but that's about it. And that's your lateral distal femur. Questions? No sir. No? The hard part is getting it lined up right on the line there. That's the hard part. Other than that, get your patient to cooperate you can relax, Summer, I'm sorry. <laughs> Leave her like a pretzel for a while. Getting your patient to cooperate and to do what you need to do in the real world will probably be the most challenging part of a femur exam. Getting your patient to rotate like you need them to for the laterals, okay? All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see y'all later.